Your Excellency, President Uhuru Kenyatta, Your Excellency First Lady, Wamboi Kolimo, the mother and the family, the Right Honorable Tony Blair, former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, former Vice President Mudia Wari, former Vice President Musalia Mudavadi, former Vice President Kalonzo Musioka, political leaders present, church leaders, business leaders, ladies and gentlemen. The last time I had an interaction with Bob Colimo was about a month ago when he visited me with a friend. And I know the family has said that um, we should not mourn but celebrate the life of Bob Colimo. And indeed, it is a celebration of a life very well lived. But it is difficult to reconcile Bob Colimo, who we all knew had this terminal condition and that he had not long to live. But when you met Bob Colimo, he behaved he interacted as though he was going to live forever. It was quite a paradox. And it goes to demonstrate his courage and what he stood and lived for. Bob Kolimo was not just a business leader in Kenya. He was not just a successful corporate business leader in Kenya. He inspired and influenced government policy. Allow me to just mention two occasions. On one occasion, when we were thinking about our education system, and the reform that was required in our education system and our re-engineering of our education so that it responds more to the needs of industry that inspired us to think about technical education, competence-based education, as is being rolled out now, Bob Colimo became a big source of inspiration because here came a man without a university degree who ran successfully the most profitable enterprise in Kenya. On a second occasion, some time in 2014, His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta was leading us through the process of thinking about how we can reform our police and what we needed to do to improve the conditions of service for our policemen. And we went through various motions to look at their insurance, to look at many of the aspects that contribute to their conditions of service. And I remember having this discussion with a former IG, and we got to a stage when we had done many of the things 
and we ran into a situation that we could not manage because we were informed by our police that they have an old communication system that sometimes even criminals had a way of listening in. And so something needed to be done. When we explained to His Excellency the President, he told us, leave this one to me. I will have a chat with my friend, Bob Colimo. The rest is history. The result is that today we have a modern camera surveillance system and a modern police communication system. That is how far Bob Colimo influenced government policy. And so it is a befitting occasion for us to celebrate this great person who became a Kenyan, probably more Kenyan than many of us. And of course, Bob Colimo was extraordinary because apart from all the time that he spent making sure that Safaricom was ahead of the game, was a business leader, was making profit. He also had time for art and music, which was his passion. And of course, I agree with Joshua, who said here that jazz and classical music is quite a scale up in terms of music in Kenya. Joshua said for the people who think about uh, rombo, rom, rumba, and uh, Kofi Olomide and that group, it was quite something. And of course, it was more to those of us uh, who our international scope of music was uh, um, Mwanza Town Choir. <laughs> and Choir Ya Morogoro. So it was quite something for us. And apart from what he did in Safaricom, he introduced us to some things which are new. And as has been said by many people here, Bob Colimo is in a class of his own. And we celebrate his life and the moments that he spent with us, to the family. Bob's courage and the way he did things should be an inspiration to you as a family to look at the situation before you with the courage of Bob and know the things he held dear and carry his legacy into the future.